Hi everyone, we're back and the topic is still blood transfusion about the new nurse, but I just wanted to elaborate a little bit more on a topic like plasmapheresis, which is also in a way, but a little bit different, a form of blood transfusion for certain types of patients, like the patient with multiple sclerosis or Guillain-Barre. And there seems to be a lot of awareness lately of that patient, the one with multiple sclerosis. The mechanism of the whole cause of multiple sclerosis is not fully understood. What is clear that it, there is some connection to the central nervous system and the signs and symptoms exhibited by these patients definitely target the central nervous system. We have such complaints from patients as weakness in an arm or leg. They might have visual problems like diplopia. They might have ataxia, which is unsteady gait. They stand up to walk and they stagger. They may have tremors or they may even have fatigue. Here is a patient who is being seen by the doctor and she's complaining of difficulty with her vision. There are certain tests that are done to identify this problem. Some of them are the MRI where it is suggested that there are lesions on the in the brain and the spinal column that can be seen to identify this is the problem. Another test that's done is the spinal tap. And I guess it targets the white blood cells and there might be an abnormal count. However, I don't want to get too deeply into that because I'm not certain myself. One thing is clear, it's a very debilitating condition. Some people respond better than others. Plasmapheresis, where you get blood exchange, where blood is the plasma is removed and sometimes not just put back after it's cleansed, but it's actually, uh, you get a donor where the donor may exchange his own plasma, you know, for somebody else's in the treatment. I just wanted to make you aware of some new American Heart Guidelines for um, BCLS, Basic Life Support. I just read it very recently as I was about to uh, renew my BCLS. These guidelines only came since 2010. So it's probably going to take some time for everybody to catch up, but what it amounts to is we used to focus on ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation. And I just noticed while I was studying that it's now CAB, compressions, airway, and breathing. So I do suggest that you um, follow your guidelines and take the trouble to find out more. Have a great, well, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.